It's such a joy to be here. I love all these people so much. I think everyone felt uh, and continues to feel really lucky to be a part of this project. It's, it's a really special movie. Uh, this is not your typical job for, for an actor like me. And, uh, and so it's, it's really not your typical premiere. It's incredibly exciting. It's a huge honor that it's AFI. I mean, I think what AFI does is, you know, immensely important and uh, really treats the business of making film as an art and uh, a serious art. And so I, I, being part of the festival is, is thrilling. It's exciting to be anywhere around the AFI because the AFI, you know, gives so many opportunities to learn film history and filmmaking. And I've been involved, you know, indirectly and directly with the AFI for many, many years. I went to the very, very first Lifetime Achievement Award for John Ford. That was my award for finishing my first film, Sugarland Express, when the great and late, sadly, Richard Zanuck, who produced my first movie, brought me to the AFI's first Lifetime Achievement event. And I got to see Pappy Ford accepting the honors. So I've been very involved with the AFI, so it, for me, it's a real homecoming to bring Lincoln back home for this. Getting to go to work every day and work with Steven Spielberg and Daniel Day-Lewis, what was that like for you? It was, a, it was, you know, phenomenal. And not to mention text written by Tony Kushner and costumes by Joanna Johnston, sets by Rick Carter. It just, there was the excellence in front of the camera, behind the camera, with the exquisite direction of Steven Spielberg and the genius of Tony Kushner. And, uh, you know, it's just, was amazing. I'll, I've never had it before. I'll never have it again. Well, Stephen and I have known each other from ER days. You know, of course, he was one of the creators and executive producers, but we'd never worked together in this context before. So, as a director, I mean, clearly he's a genius. Well, they're both our geniuses. But they both had so much fun. You know, there was a lot of fun also. I don't know what I'm going to do from now on. I don't want to work with anybody else. Those two are cinematic legends, you know, they will be for all time. And so for me, as a, as a young actor, to be doing scenes opposite Daniel Day-Lewis while being directed by Steven Spielberg, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. You know, I can die happy now. So um, it, was, it was just a real privilege. Working with Steven was a true uh, blessing, you know. When you kick around this business as long as I have, you work with a lot of knuckleheads. And it's, uh, it's great when you finally get to work with one of the greats. Uh, Steven's a sweetheart. It, it, the guy's so talented, but I always heard he was magnanimous. It's true. We're sitting on the floor having lunch together, and he's telling me showbiz stories. <laughs> it was really great. It was wonderful. Well, uh, first of all, I think any actor that it, who's on a Steven Spielberg set is going to feel a sense of occasion. And then um, the fact that you're working with Daniel Day-Lewis in such an important role as well, that, you know, it sort of doubles down on that feeling. And um, uh, all I can say is that when we were doing the, that when they were shooting the scene where they, they take the vote for the amendment, anyone who wasn't actually called to set, who was in Richmond, we all showed up to set to watch the shooting of that scene because, you know, the, the attention to detail and everything, it was as near as getting in a time machine and going back and seeing it, you know. So we, there's a sense of film history, that was for sure. Daniel makes you realize how far you can go as an actor and how he rejuvenates every bit of respect that an actor has for his craft. You just watch him. I mean, all of my scenes were with him. I was just saying... I finally got to meet him tonight because the whole time I was doing the movie, I only knew Abraham Lincoln, so it was great. He's so good at what he does and such a nice person to me. As you know, he's a method actor and um, I play his son, so he was a father-like figure f for me. Being opposite him is like stepping into a time machine. His dedication to what he's doing as Abraham Lincoln and um, just the level of commitment is, is something that is, was incredibly inspiring and exemplary, actually. And you just, you couldn't do anything but try to be as committed with what you were doing. So um, it, was a, it, was a, it was astounding to be around, actually. What was a true highlight for you while making this film? Um, I think just getting to see Stephen come to work every day so happy. You know, he's one of the most renowned and successful filmmakers of all time. 
you might think that it's another day at the office for him, but it so wasn't. He had such an unabashed glee every day. Every shot that he set up, you can just tell the guy loves movies. And uh, that's inspiring for me. I, I, love, I love being with people who love what they do. Can you kind of sit back and relax at this point? I, I don't know. There's no relaxing for me ever when I have a movie coming out ever. And even when I don't have a movie come out, in between movies, I have a big family. There's no relaxing there either.